it's Brenda, and you're watching The Brenda Show. Like a limp dick. It's about to be real hot. Don't look at the back of my dress. I'm drunk already. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Today we are gonna surf and we're gonna turf. Today I'm gonna show y'all how to sear steak and um, bake some lobster because this is a meal that I order everywhere I go, single or not, or taken. This is a meal that will just give you a nice big old tummy just like me. So today we're gonna do a beautiful steak. It's gonna be beautifully seared and cooked to perfection. We're gonna do beautiful lobster tails with a compound butter for both. And also we're gonna finish today with a blackberry margarita. Ah. Margarita? Correct. Oh. A blackberry margarita. Now let's get started. All right, so what you're gonna need for today is a ribeye, of course, lobster tails, olive oil, lemon, salt, pepper, some garlic, thyme, rosemary, unsalted butter, and parsley. All right, y'all, we are gonna start with our steak. Right here, I have a beautiful ribeye, and I know if it's your first time ever doing this for yourself or your loved one, there are so many meats out on the market, but this ribeye you cannot go wrong with because there's a lot of beautiful marbling and fat on here. It's just gonna taste absolutely delicious. So I have patted my ribeye down. Y'all need to listen to me and follow each and every step because y'all can fuck this up, okay? We're not trying to fuck up our expensive meat today, okay? So we have a ribeye, pat it dry, let it rest at room temperature. It's not too cold, not too hot because we want it to cook evenly. That's the secret. Oh, my wig almost burned. Okay, my cast iron here is nice and hot. You might see it smoking a little bit, but what I'm gonna do, since it's already smoking, take my room temperature ribeye, Pat it dry, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. And it may look like a lot, but y'all, there is no flavor whatsoever on this ribeye. Just gonna go ahead and take that. We're gonna go ahead and put it down on the cast iron skillet. Oops, I forgot my olive oil. We're gonna put a little bit of olive oil down in the cast iron skillet. See, it's nice and hot. We're gonna take the ribeye, room temperature, pat it dry, salt side down, and stand back. Mmm, smells delicious already. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and season the other side and let that go for about a minute or two. Now, here is the secret. Do not touch it, do not bother it. Just let it do its thing because this is just gonna get a nice, beautiful crust. And you want the fat and the olive oil to do its thing and the salt to do its thing. So we have a beautiful texture on the outside. All right, y'all, the first side has laid down untouched for about two to three minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and flip that because the bottom's looking real nice. Be very careful, y'all. <laughs> Look at that, got a nice little tan. So now that we flip that over, I'm gonna go ahead and put in my butter. And you do this right away as soon as you flip it. Put your butter, your garlic, rosemary and thyme, and we're gonna let that sing a little bit. This is what makes it real fancy, is this seasoned butter right here. Y'all, I welcome you to Brenda's Steakhouse. We got a steak going right here. It sat down and you see the rosemary and the thyme and the garlic has seasoned that butter. So I'm gonna do the fanciest thing you'll ever see on this channel and it's take that nice butter, stand back, I'm gonna tilt the pan a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and start to just baste my steak. And this will just infuse all the flavor. All right, y'all, I like my medium rare, so I'm gonna leave it on here and continue to baste for around three to five minutes. If y'all prefer it more tough and well done, keep it on for longer. But also, reminder, it does, it's talking back now. Reminder, it does continue to cook once you take it off the stove top. All right, I shut off my heat. I'm gonna put this to the side, and we're gonna go ahead and start our compound butter and our lobster tails. 
All right, y'all, now it's time to surf. So I got my lobsters pulled out right here. And look how beautifully pulled out the meat is. Y'all can ask your butcher or seafood man to pull them out. Some do, some don't. I've done it myself. Just take some scissors and pull the meat out. It just is nicer for presentation when you lay it all out. For this, what we're gonna need is a compound butter. It's just a fancy butter with herbs and spices and things. Um, you can check out the exact measurements on my website. It's linked down below. Um, so what we're gonna do for this is just take a one stick of unsalted butter. So for this whole time, we have been using unsalted everything. And for this, we're gonna take some garlic, parsley, rosemary, thyme, salt, pepper, and lemon zest. And this compound butter can be used for anything. Your lobster tails, it can be served with your steak, which is what I'm gonna do today. Fish, toast, anything. And it'll last up to about a week in your fridge. And my butter has been sitting at room temperature, so I'm just gonna go ahead and mix everything. And this is just so freaking easy. It just looks a lot fancier, and you don't gotta buy anything pre-made. Everything is just nice and fresh. And y'all, this dinner will take you 30 minutes or less. Just a little bit of prep time and everything 30 minutes, and you'll be good to go. All right, y'all, look how fancy and expensive that looks. I'm gonna go ahead and take about half, and we're gonna go ahead and use this half for serving for later. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the rest of this and brush it on my lobster tails. And even if it's not totally spreadable, y'all, it's gonna be okay because it's gonna melt in the oven at 450 for about 10 to 12 minutes. And make sure y'all don't overcook it because it can just get tough and nasty. Like a limp dick. And that's not what we want in our mouth. All right, I'm gonna pop this in the oven, 450, 10 to 12 minutes until it's nice and red. Let's make a blackberry spicy margarita. What you're gonna need is some tequila, simple syrup, blackberries, jalapenos, lime juice, mint, and some ice. Burr, it's cold in here. It's about to be real hot. <laughs> all right, y'all, to my cocktail shaker, I'm gonna take all my blackberries and put them in here. We're gonna go ahead and muddle everything. I'm gonna take about two halves of a lime or one whole of lime juice, squeeze it in. And then depending on how spicy you like it, um, add in jalapenos. I'm gonna do about half. I'm gonna take some mint, take it back of a wooden spoon, and we're gonna just mash everything. Mm. This is just gonna get the blackberries and the lamb, mint, and jalapenos, and it's gonna go so well with our serving turf. Mm. Spicy. <laughs> Now it's time for some fun. We're gonna take two counts of tequila. One, two, one count of simple syrup. Add in some ice and mix it all up. And there we have our blackberry spicy margarita. We're gonna finish this off with some blackberries and some mint to garnish. I'm drunk already. <laughs> Little taste test. Flack them with gaze. <laughs> All right, y'all. I beat my meat to perfection. And I have pulled out the meat from the lobster tail. Now, let me tell you, the flavors are just delectable. The juice melts in my mouth, slides down my throat seamlessly with the compound butter and I am in ecstasy this Valentine's Day whether you got a man or not treat yourself to this surf and turf and get your life Happy Valentine's Day. Be sure to try this at home. Tag Patrick Star on social media. Check out our website. And don't forget, when life gives you mess, come to PS. I'll see y'all next time. Love and light. Toodles.